All right, here we go. Hey everyone, this is Jesse, and this is a short tutorial video about how to use YouTube Studio. Okay, first things first, I always try to make sure that I check that I'm in the right and correct account, which this is my um, stanfordpublicschools.org account. It's managed by Stanford Public Schools, so that's good, okay? Um, one quick thing I want to point out as well before we get too far, I am using an app called Screencastify to record my screen, okay? Um, it is an app that I pay for. If you don't want to pay for it, you can use Screencastify to make videos that are five minutes long. There is a workaround to um, create videos if you would like and that will be in my next video. Um, you can use actually Hangouts Meet and you can record your screen. Just wanna note though that the video quality is not as good. Um, I can set my video quality pretty high here, but when you're uploading videos to YouTube, you're going to need to be able to um, record your videos somehow. And because I do a lot of training videos, I use Screencastify because it, it gives me the option of just recording my screen like this. So just please keep that in mind. All right, here we go. So once again, I'm in my Stanford Public Schools account and I'm going to go to YouTube, okay, youtube.com. And I'm going to make sure actually that I'm going, that this, it keeps me in my Stanford Public Schools account. Sometimes it doesn't, okay, if you noticed, I clicked on my face. So when I click there, this comes up. When you first get here and you're logged into your Stanford Public Schools account, you're going to have uh, something in this panel that says create your channel if you've already, if you've not already created the channel. Okay, I just want to point that out. Um, we're going to go here in a second, but before we do that, I want to show you these three lines here is kind of um, what you uh, what Google uses for the menu okay um, on the menu you can have you can go to home trending subscriptions what's in your library your history your videos uh, your liked videos I have subscribed with this account with my Stanford Public Schools account to one um, channel which is Ted Okay. You can also pay for YouTube. There's a lot of stuff on there. Um, basically though, YouTube is the biggest, the largest online community of creators that has so much out there to uh, learn. And so many people, <laughs> it's just an amazing amount of information that you can learn through YouTube. Okay, so that's the menu, um, all right, say so navigate that. I'm going to show you now how to use the studio function, which is what people want to know about. Okay, so once you've created your video, you're going to upload it to YouTube. I want to show you real quick, I can upload the video or I can go live. People have been asking about that and I'll show people something at the end, but right now I cannot go live because I have not had this account for long enough. Okay. It says this account will be ready in 24 hours. All right. If people really want to um, learn about how to do a live stream on YouTube, I will create another video just for that. Okay. Here we go. Let's go back to this and I will now click on upload a video. Once again, I use Screencastify, so I've already downloaded and made a little short little video just as an example here. So I'm going to click on select file. And yes, if you're using a Chromebook, you can go to your Google Drive. If you have a um, folder, okay, if I'm going to go to my Google Drive, I'll go to um, Screencastify, which is where all my videos are. Blah, 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 all this stuff is in there. That's not where I'm going today. Going to downloads. I downloaded a sample video here 
and I have it in two different formats, .mp4 and .webmovie. Okay, so I like to use the MP4s because in my opinion, they're more user-friendly. Um, so whatever you use to, to, to create your videos with, just keep that in mind. There's a lot of different video formats out there, MP4, Web, WebMovie, AVI, you name it, okay? So I'm gonna click on this one, the MP4, it's the same video. Okay. Click on open. And it's going to come up here, it takes a couple seconds, it's going to start uploading my video. Now you can work on this while it's being uploaded here. You'll see it's gonna take a little, little bit of time. Okay, it's saving it right now <clears throat> and uploading it. it. Gives me a title while it's uploading. I'm gonna tell viewers about my video. This is a sample video for a video. Okay, finally got that correct. Obviously you can describe it however you want. It's just gotta be in less than 5,000 characters. This we'll come back to in a second. Once it's all uploaded, you'll get some thumbnails, all right? Um, playlists, I can say where I want this playlist. You know, if I have some playlists, I can add it to a playlist. Audience, is this video made for kids? This is a required question. So if I click on yes, is made for kids, a little thing pops up and says features like personalized ads and notifications will be available on videos made for kids. Okay, great. Or no, it's not made for kids, whatever. All right. While it's still processing, I can see that it's, you know, got a couple seconds left. I'm going to click on more options. Um, <clears throat> let me click on yes again. Uh, paid promotion. You probably don't have any paid promotions here. Okay, I'm gonna click on some tabs. I'm gonna put YouTube Studio. Okay, I'm going to put Google ah, for education. Okay, I'm going to put um, I'm gonna put e-learning. Distance learning, okay, a couple tags there. Doesn't really help, apparently it says it tells you the minimal role in helping a viewer find video, but I like to put tags in there. It's fine. Select the video um, language that you'd like, the captions, okay, here we go. Um, recording date and location, license and distribution, creative commons if you would like, okay. Allow embedding. Now, I clicked on kids up there, okay? Or your category two, sorry, hold on. Uh, the category is probably going to be education because you're using these for distance learning, okay? Now, I clicked on that the, the, the video was for kids. So that means um, that there won't be any comments. It's gonna disable comments automatically. You probably want to stick to that because you probably don't want comments um, on your videos. That's all at the bottom. Um, here we go. Here's some thumbnails, obviously, and they're a little blurry, so I don't know what's happening, but they'll come out better as you um, move on. Okay. So now that it's uploaded, I'm going to click on next. Okay, some video elements. I swear to God. Okay, I'm just making sure my screen is still being recorded here. All right, cool. Um, video elements, you can't add any of these things if it's a, uh, a video made for kids. Visibility. Okay, now here's the thing. Okay. Um, this is a was a question as well how do you make a video um be public okay just like that <laughs> if you want it to be unlisted probably you might it's up to you if you want it to be unlisted you're going to have to make sure to share uh the link okay um obviously you are going to share the link whether you make it public or, or unlisted um, you're going to have to share this link on Google Classroom or email to your students 
however you choose, All right? I'm gonna make this one public, that's fine. You can schedule it. You can make sure that you answer these questions for yourself. Do kids appear in the video looking for overall content guidance, whatever. It's nice here, it gives you the opportunity to copy the video link. It'll give you the opportunity again in just a second. So I'm gonna click on publish, boom. Okay, and you can now copy that again. You can embed it if you're making a website. You can post it on Facebook or Twitter, somewhere like that. Now I'm just gonna click on close, okay? And it's gonna come up with, you're gonna see <clears throat> these videos that I've um, created. Once again, this is my San Francisco Schools account, so uh, only these videos are up there for right now, okay? Um, so that's that. And this video will be available for people to watch. Okay. Now I want to point out something. This is YouTube studio. Okay. YouTube editor. People are asking what is YouTube editor? YouTube editor is a free editor. Yes, it is a free editor, um, that YouTube has created. How do you get to it? Well, once you've uploaded a video in your studio, YouTube studio, you're going to click on the, the video that you want to edit by clicking on the little pencil. Okay. You're going to notice something over here. Pay attention to this. Um, now you have some different options. You've already uploaded this video with the studio. Now you're going to click on editor. Okay. With the YouTube editor, you have a bunch of cool things that you can do. I'm not going to spend too much time in this because this video is more about YouTube studio than editor. You can trim it. Say you wanted to make it, you know, shorter or, um, cut out a couple spots, whatever. I don't know. You can obviously zoom in to the, to the, to a part of the video. I don't know. Um, so this is, this is your video here. Okay. And then it, and it breaks it down. The editor breaks it down. You can also then, um, listen to the sound on the video and you can put some music. People are like, how do you make the music happen? Like those professional people that, that use, uh, YouTube, you know, they add it in there. They literally put, uh, music in their, in their video. Okay. Um, you can put some elements or an end screen, whatever you can add a blur in there. The sky's the limit. Once again, I'm not going to spend too much time in here because this video right now that I'm making is just about YouTube studio. So let's get out of there. Let's get out of the editor. Okay. You can fool around with the editor another time. Um, I did promise I'll show you real quick cause I can't get into my live stream right now. Okay. Um, for my Stanford public schools account, but I'll show you what it looks like on a different account that I have. Okay. Hopefully, um, hopefully my video doesn't freeze again because it did this last time. Okay. Let's go to a different account and I'm actually just going to go live here and you'll notice that it has some very similar options. Okay. Um, to creating your video. Okay. You can, uh, live stream your webcam, All right? You can set something up to happen, a, a stream schedule for later, um, another time, blah, blah, blah. You can also manage it. Um, you don't have any up upcoming streams, obviously you can put some things in events and blah, blah, blah. I promise if people really want to, um, if people really want to have a video about, um, the YouTube live stream, I will make a video about that. Okay. Let's go back to the YouTube studio and go back to the correct account because we're not going to do live stream right now. We're just going to do YouTube studio and how to, how to upload those videos. Okay. So that's what we did. I already did that. Here's my videos again. Um, once again, 
when you get to your channel, you're going to click on this little create button. It should be up here. You're going to upload a video and everything should work out fabulously. Thank you very much for watching.